Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is the first in a short series of videos that I'm going to do about uh, using a, a piece of software called Digital Works. Um, if you've been uh, watching the other videos that I've been doing on digital electronics and computing fundamentals, then uh, you might have seen it in use. Uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, short series on how to uh, how to use this software, Digital Works. Um, and in this one, I'm going to start with showing you how to download and install it. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest, mostly. Um, the hardest thing about it is finding it on the internet. Uh, it's created by this uh, uh, this outfit called Mechanique. Um, and there's uh, the URL up there. I'll link the URL uh, into the description down below, so you don't have to try and type all that in. And then uh, the version that I've been using is 3.0.5.0. And um, so once you've found this page, uh, you just need to click on that for a download. And I'm going to download that. Uh, it doesn't actually take very long to download. Okay, it's downloaded. So it's not actually a proper um, Windows installer. It's just a, a zip file with the software inside it. So I've just clicked on it to open it up. Um, sorry, I should have said this is on a Windows computer. I cannot tell you if or not it works on a Mac. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have that experience. Uh, and I'm anyway. I'm just going to copy that to somewhere else to extract it uh, this is the folder that i've got for um for the module that i'm involved in at northern university i'm just going to download it to that and i've just extracted it from the zip by copying out of the zip file if you're not used to doing this then it's actually fairly straightforward if i open up the zip file in windows it'll give you this folder and all you need to do is to copy that folder out either by dragging it um, or doing Control c to copy and then Control v to paste in the target and that gives you <clears throat> the software if you find the the executable file called digital works inside there you can double click on that and it should load it up there we are that's it up and running i'm just going to close it down so there are a couple of things you can do to access this uh, obviously you can remember where you've put it and go and find it and double click on that uh, you can create a shortcut and uh, if you, again, if you don't know how to do it, creating shortcuts in uh, Windows is fairly straightforward. I'm just going to do a shortcut up into this uh, um, uh, this folder that's uh, above it. But you could do it to your um, to your desktop. I'm deliberately hiding all my desktop icons for the sake of a bit of privacy. So uh, the way to create um, a shortcut is to drag and drop. So you um, hold down your left mouse button and you're going to move that across now i've not dropped it yet because uh you need to hold some keys and it's control and um the uh, uh whatever you call it the the thing that gives you capital is the caps key um and as you see the tooltip says create link in computing fundamentals and if i let go of that now that'll create me a shortcut link and if i double click that it automatically connects through to where the software is um, opens it um, and then the final way of uh, getting hold of it which is what i normally do is uh, in your windows box down here uh, is just to type digital works um, uh, it's on the file folder and there's the the app down there so if i click on that it'll open it up because i never remember where i put it so Fairly straightforward, <clears throat> and the next uh, video I'm going to start showing you how to use digital works, but that's it from me for now. <laughs>